Hi, welcome back to Global Gossip. On this week's episode of Culture Report, we're going to be talking about D-Block Europe's raunchy new music video, why Drake's been on the news recently. we still got so much more for you. So in the meantime, subscribe to our channel, like this video, and follow us on Instagram at Global Gossip underscore. We'll be back after the intro. DBE, we the brilliant star. Fuck a prime, bring the killers out. We gon' bring the drillers out. Yo, you fine, can I take you down? Got you squatting everywhere, I think you finished now. We don't rap, can Welcome back to Culture Report. We hope that everyone watching and everyone all over the globe right now is having a fantastic Christmas, just like this little girl right here. Um, <laughs> I like this one. <laughs> well, duh. Oh my god. She's really. Uh, okay. Anyways. Wheels on the roses, chromas, headshot domas. Just checked in at a hotel floor that we on got potent aromas. OVO XO link up, man, them drink up, me and the drillers. Hawking sticks and cash and baka, Gucci, P and Gilla. And the boy that sound like he sang on Thriller, you know that's been my nigga. Yeah, we just had to fix things, family, six things, we can't split up. As for the rest of the game, I'll do, man, dirty, man, I get two time. To me, that's just our side, I don't really care who rides on whose side. Okay. So there's definitely a mixed amount of reactions, but Drake's UK fans are left confused with some claiming that he sounded a little bit like UK drill rapper Heady One. Don't worry kids, Drake blew up in 2010 and is still currently the biggest artist in the world, if not the entire decade. We can't think of anyone that would try and test Drake's gangster. Well, apart from Pusha T. Here's a clip of Drake talking about his beef with Pusha T on Rap Radar. No desire to ever mend anything with that person. And um, yeah, that situation just went, you know, it went, it just went, it just went where it went. And it's just, there is no, there is no, there is no turning back. It's not like those other situations that you mentioned. Did you know, Pusha go, push go too far by revealing the child and um, presenting that to the world? Um, well, I'll say this. I tip my hat to the chess move. I mean, it was a genius. It was a genius play in the game of chess um, and definitely, you know, warranted my first quote unquote you know, loss in the competitive sport of, of rapping. Um, by choice, obviously, because I, 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 I bowed out after realizing, like, the gap between us allowed him to drop, you know, a bomb on the world that, um, that, that really became, it, that, was all, that, was, that was all anyone cared about. He's you not know, supposed I, I, to be here for you. You're supposed to be here for him. You get off my back. You think I want this? It just happened! In Kevin Hart's new documentary series, he reflects on his career, upbringing, scandals, and how him and his family dealt with everything. Be sure that it's filled with enough drama to give a priest a heart attack. <laughs> Here's a short clip that we found of his wife and Nico Hart talking about his cheating scandals being exposed. Give up on, you know, my family. Um, I wanted Kenzo to be able to know his dad and like grow up so D block you they're just blowing up out of nowhere <laughs> look these two young cats are doing good this year they've released two mixtapes they've sold out a tour independently and it was so popular that they had to add extra dates 23 pounds for a ticket 50,000 sold you do the maths young ads has been rapping since he was seven years old Later in life, he introduced his best friend LB to music. Let's see what more these two have to offer the game. I don't care how many number ones you got with Rare, Rare, Rare. I feel like hiding my wrist when I'm around you, man. You know what I mean? I want this plain Jane. Yeah, no, I want to speak on that, though. Anyways, this is the last episode of the year. And we'll be back next Sunday, the 5th of January, 2020. We hope that everyone has had a good year and that everyone's gonna have a better year next year. So kids, drink responsible because you don't want to end up like this guy over here hey, mo, 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 mo. on UK Gossip TV. Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. <laughs>